Hey, what's going on guys? I have a new deck profile for you. It's actually a retro deck profile, and it's Teledad. Um, I know a lot of you guys enjoyed that format. There's also people that didn't. I don't really understand that, besides the price of the deck itself. But for those of you who couldn't enjoy that format, now you guys can, because basically every card in that deck is rare and common now. And if it isn't rare and common, then it's, you know, a super rare or a really, like, low-end ultra, just something like that. So, uh, yeah, definitely, uh, you know, build that. Uh, have fun with your friends. Uh, yeah, that's really it. But let's get going into my list. Uh, by the way, I did do two duels over the weekend with the deck. I'm going to have the link somewhere up there for you guys to go and watch. It's really fun. Uh, I apologize on some of the games just because they didn't go as good as I wanted them to. Uh, I did like three or four matches before those games and I was just OTKing or my friend was OTKing. So uh, let's just get going into the deck. Uh, probably the best monster in the deck uh, would be Elemental Hero Stratos. And you had so many ways to it just because you had so many draw cards and you had reinforcement of the army. I uh, used two copies of that card, so you just had a lot of ways to it. Uh, dark Armed, Dark Armed was at two per deck, and you were able to control your darks very, very easily. Um, that's that. Uh, this card is actually really, really good. Destiny Hero Doom Lord. It's not going to see play probably ever again, just because they crippled the Destiny Hero engine just for no reason. Uh, but the card was really good. Basically, when you're playing Teledad and you're playing against the mirror match, uh, you don't want to be the first one to go off. Uh, there's sometimes where you would because Solemn Judgment was at three back then. You had Crush Card, you had Phoenix Wing Wind Blast at two or three in the main board. So I mean, there may have been sometimes where you could just win. Oh, and Oppression. I'm sorry, but. If you got rid of your whole hand, made a board, let's say you made Stardust Dragon, and then let's say you made, I don't know, uh, Red Dragon Archfiend or something. Well, people may think that's good, but I've seen people break out of their opponents having three Solemn Judgments, and that's what truly made the format so good. Uh, I apologize if I'm rambling on, it's just... I actually love this format to death, so I can actually talk about it. Uh, you know, just nowadays, I don't really have a lot of enthusiasm with all the decks that are being used and just all that. But, uh, yeah, anyways, uh, that's that. Uh, Krebins, I used three copies of that because also Destiny Draw, Allure of Darkness, and Emergency Teleport were all at three per deck. I know that may seem crazy, but, you know, it was just so much fun. I'm going to keep saying that over and over because it was easily my favorite format of all time. Now, what you could do, you could go Destiny Draw, Pitch Malicious, Draw 2, and then just with Malicious in the grave, if you had Double Teleport, that would make you two Synchros. So the two Synchros, and then if you could, like, drop Dark Arm, that's game for the most part. And, yeah, that's that. Um... Like I mentioned, these bad boys were at 3 per deck. That's E Teleport, that's D Draw, and that's a Lord of Darkness. I used two copies of Reinforcement of the Army. And the only synchros that, are, that were around back then, uh, people would use like Triple Stardust Dragon, Triple Goyo, uh, Triple Magical Android, Black Rose was out, uh, Tempest Magician, uh, I know I'm forgetting some Colossal Fighter. So there weren't a whole lot of Synchros out there. That's right before the game got really, really bad. And they started to make overpowered Synchros. I mean, Stardust Dragon's really stupid. But, uh, you know, everything else you could pretty much deal with back then. But now we don't have Solemn Judgment at 3 anymore. So we have less and less answers to certain cards. But what can you do? We're never going to see Solemn Judgment at above 1. Just because they released Solemn Warning. So, uh, that's that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have the whole rest of the deck list downstairs. Like I said, 
you can build like two copies of this stack as long as you know you don't mind say tossing in maybe like 30 or 40 bucks to build each copy of the deck uh, you can just proxy the synchros if you want I mean most of you guys own Stardust Dragons, Colossal Fighters you may even have Goyo Guardians left over so I mean you can really just build this deck pretty cheaply uh, it was a little expensive but then they just made Solemn Judgment common so you need three copies of that in here so uh, and back then Crush Card was a gold and now it's a rare come last year so yeah guys that's it for now so check the description downstairs for the deck list and hope you guys enjoyed my profile so peace